in the last video we talked about the expansion device here now this one's about the evaporator that's this part right here It'll be some sort of coil that transfers heat this is a compressor that's the suction side of the compressor that's the suck side once the refrigerant passes through the expansion device which is a restriction its temperature and pressure are both lowered. The pressure is lowered because of the restriction of the uh, expansion device. Once that pressure is lowered, the refrigerant inside here will boil at a lower temperature than the surrounding air of the evaporator. Now we're using an air evaporator, we could use water or brine or all sorts of things, but Generally, it's going to be an evaporator that's exposed to air. The effect of the evaporator is the reason we do refrigeration at all, just to get stuff cold. So, this is boiling at a temperature below the air passing across the coil. So, it's going to boil. And as it comes out of this expansion device, that's a warm, high pressure liquid as it comes through it immediately has to reduce the temperature of the liquid to whatever temperature it's boiling at. Part of the evaporation takes place just to reduce the temperature of that liquid as it comes through. Let's say the liquid comes through at 100 degrees and I'm boiling at 40 here in the evap. Well, it, that sensible heat has to be taken off of that liquid refrigerant. And so that's the first short section here. It reduces that sensible heat off the liquid and gets it down to the boiling point. Actually, that can be up to 25% of the load as just removing that sensible heat. So uh, that's the first thing it does as it starts boiling. Then it starts taking heat out of the air passing across the coil. Now throughout this whole thing, this is just a bubbling mess. There's a bunch of little bubbles coming up there and so on. It'll sit there absorbing heat. Now here's where the expansion device has so much effect on this thing. We do not want this entire coil filled with boiling liquid refrigerant. The reason being, we don't want to dump the uh, liquid into this compressor. Compressors are gas pumps. They will pump gases. They don't do so good pumping liquid. Uh, there can be lots of damage and so on like that. So we want all of this refrigerant to boil off before it gets to that compressor. If the expansion device is doing its job, then by the time we get somewhere around in here, we're going to run out of liquid. It's going to be completely boiled off. If it is completely boiled off at this point, then just a pure gas comes back to the compressor. That is normal operation for these things. You can have all sorts of things happen where that doesn't work out and there's liquid coming back. Uh, you know, you block the evaporator coil with a plug filter or something like that. That can change it. Uh, refrigerant charge, if the charge is too low, then instead of boiling off here, it boils off down here someplace, and you don't get very much effective cooling. So if this thing working properly, it's going to feed the proper amount of refrigerant into this coil so that we run out of, a, of liquid about this point, and the gas does what's called superheating. That means it warms up from the, tower, the uh, saturated temperature pressure that was happening here in the middle of the coil. And then it runs back to the compressor and cycles around again. Fairly simple. You can see, and we'll talk more about these later, all the things that could affect this. You know, refrigerant charge um, could affect how much refrigerant gets in here. Head pressure could affect it, Block of, uh, blockage of filters, coils, 
being plugged, not enough airflow, all those things can affect the way this works. Okay, the next thing we're going to go into is a compressor. Now, a compressor is going to be one of the most complicated parts of this refrigeration system. It's also the most expensive when it fails. Uh, so, we will continue on with the compressor. I'm not saying I'm not going to have more on a valve, I've got plenty more on that. That's it for this one.